Structural heart disease is, in essence, the valves, uh, any congenital, adult congenital diseases, so any defects in the walls of between chambers. Depend on which part of the heart we're dealing with. Aortic valve disease, and so people can uh, develop shortness of breath, chest pain, they can pass out or what we call a syncope. Congenital heart disease is something which people are born with and when they manifest symptoms um, of chest pain, shortness of breath, passing out, then they come under the adult congenital heart disease uh, umbrella. Mitral stenosis is a condition in which the mitral valve does not open well and becomes narrow and blood is not flowing normally through this valve. Patients can develop shortness of breath, chest pain, uh, swelling in the extremities with this condition. Most of these are treated via minimally invasive technologies uh, by inserting small catheters up the, either the leg or creating small incisions in the upper chest and treating them. TAVR is a technique in which we will go and repair the aortic valve. We'll use either the groin approach or an approach of a small incision in the chest, run a tube into the heart and put a new valve in without even opening the chest wall completely. The recovery is excellent. Patients go home very quickly. These procedures are done in conjunction with our cardiothoracic surgeons here. At Christiana, we have a very robust heart valve team which works together. These patients are evaluated uh, in detail and uh, once deemed appropriate, they're taken for the procedure. Balloon valveoplasty is a procedure in which we will go and take a balloon and balloon a valve that is narrow to open it up to see whether this patient may benefit from a valve in the future. A procedure in which patients who have a leaky mitral valve and cannot undergo surgery for this because they are too unstable, too fragile, or too frail we can actually put a clip which clips the two leaflets of the mitral valve together, reducing the blood flow back in the heart and thus making these patients feel better. The elderly patients who are not candidates for open procedures benefit tremendously from these minimally invasive procedures. The studies have shown that these patients would be back in the hospital because these patients would be presenting with heart failure and inability to thrive at home. We are a center of excellence. Our, we have a great experience in providing these procedures. We've been doing this for many years and I feel that we do have a great experience team who does these implants and takes care of the patients before, during, and after the procedures.